Protesters yesterday urged Gisborne District councillors to be bold in responding to the social harms caused by pokey machines. A protest organised by Kapai Kaiti Trust and attended by 20 people was held outside the council building while a full council meeting was underway. There was plenty of support from passers-by as many cars and trucks sounded their horns. However, one business took exception to the protest and requested that the volume be turned down. A noise control complaint was also made. Security staff attended and requested sound levels be moderated. Kapai Kaiti manager and event organiser Tuta Narimu said millions of dollars left our district as a result of gambling and yet the council still applied for funding from gaming trusts. What we're telling the council is that they've got to seriously look at how they, they do things in our community. One, they access money from pokies, from gambling. So how can you go out there and promote our district when in the back dark room in the back of the council they're actually writing out proposals to apply for that money from one gaming trust, just under $400,000 that they applied for last year. One gaming trust here in Gisborne. So they're applying for money that's come off the misery of our people. A representative from Tairawhiti District Māori Council, Maurice Lant, and former GDC Deputy Mayor Nona Aston spoke to those gathered and urged both the council and the community to be proactive towards instituting change. We've got to do something about it, and the only way we can do it is to stand on corners and yell till somebody listens to us. Kapai Kaiti is doing an amazing job. Tairawhiti District Māori Council representative Maurice Lant had this to say. In an area such as Tairawhiti, in particular Gisborne, the impacts are huge. A lot of the whānau don't have the resources to carry out any areas of financial stability when they are suffering with poverty, homelessness and also a lot of the other areas of suicide and drug addiction here. Now Pokies has been in this region for many, many years and from what we can gather and the stats that have come out, it has not benefited this wider community. Yes, there are areas where grants are applied through, through different organisations and the council has taken advantage of that. What we would suggest is that the Gisborne District Council takes a strong, strong stance to actually protect the community of which it's in place to protect.